friends, thanks for joining me today. My name is Miss Nicole and today we are going to meet one of our very special ambassador animals. Today, my friend, I'm going to give you guys a couple hints while I go to get him out of his out of his carrier, but my friend loves to live in the dirt. He likes to live in areas where it's nice and warm and dry. And my animal also has some really fun colors like brown and orange covering its body. So I want you guys to think about what animal I might be showing you today. If any of you out there said Ka, our Kenyan sand boa, you were definitely right. So today's friend is very special to our zoo. He gets to go out and meet people. He goes to nursing homes, daycare, our zoo taught classes. And today we're gonna kind of talk about what makes him so special. I bet you didn't think about snakes being special, huh? But they are very special. And Ka is special for a couple of different reasons. He's special because of the type of home that he lives in. His home is made up mostly of sand. He lives in the desert where there's not a lot of, um, not a lot of um, temperature variation, so it's nice and warm there. Do you guys think it's warm today outside or kind of cold? I'm thinking it's a little chilly today. But Ka, he likes to live where it's nice and warm and he lives in the sand. And he's actually gonna spend most of his life buried under the sand. And I want you guys to think what it would be like if you spent most of your life buried underneath of a blanket. What would that be like? Would it maybe get a little dark? Yeah. But I'm gonna give you guys the chance to see how Cobb buries himself in the sand. What he's going to do is he is going to use his head just like a shovel. And he's gonna wiggle that head back and forth along with his rest of his body to slither through the sand. And in this case right now, it's his choice if he wants to hide in the sand. So we'll see if he wants to explore at the surface and slither on that sand, or if he decides that he's gonna use his head like a shovel to help him dig in the sand. So I want you guys to think, anyone at home ever use a shovel to dig in the sand? Well, if not, today might be a great chance to break out our sand shovels and practice digging in our backyards or even playing in the sand or the snow at our homes. So whether your backyard is still covered in snow or sand, these tools are going to be great and they'll help you be just like Ka as you dig and move through the sand. But Ka here, it looks like he's choosing to move on the surface. So I want to see if you guys can practice wiggling and slithering like a snake. So we're gonna stay perfectly still. You can do this sitting or standing. And we're just gonna wiggle back and forth. And we're gonna use all of these muscles that we have, right? Our muscles to wiggle just like our snake. And that's how they move without having any arms or legs. But my friend here, I told you that he's special for a couple different reasons. He's also special because of the way he finds his food. Is anyone starting to think about lunch already? Ah, uh, a few of you, I thought so. My friend here, he's gonna find his food in a very unique way. He's gonna do that with his tongue. You heard me right, his tongue. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna stick out that tongue and every time you see him stick out his tongue, he's not trying to be silly or sassy. He is smelling and he has a very good sense of smell. What do you guys think a snake might be smelling for? Are they gonna be smelling for donuts? Or fruit? No, my friend here, he loves to eat meat. So he's gonna be using his sniffer to find tasty, maybe mice or lizards or small eggs, which I think is pretty special. And I want you guys to remember Ka's size because just like you, he still has lots of growing to do. Um, when he's done growing, he's probably going to be about two feet in length and just a little bit thicker. So sand boas, if you remember, that's the type of snake I have, they do not get very long. And that's because it would be hard if you were a long snake to pull yourself and the weight of your body through that sand. So today, I want you guys to go ahead and bust out those summer shovels. And I want you guys to try digging in the sand or the snow with your shovel and being like Ka, our sand boa. Thanks everyone for tuning in today. Have fun.